and food, picnics, outdoor eating coming up next for you right here on Good Morning Connecticut. We're going to show you good produce, good ways to eat. Stay with us. Good morning, everyone. Time now is 749. All right, so summertime is the perfect time to get fruits and vegetables from uh, Connecticut farms. Now at farm stands and farmer's market, just to name a few, uh, and now many of your favorite dishes can be found in a new cookbook. It's called Connecticut Farmers and Feast. All right, and here to show us how to prepare some of these uh, in-season favorites is Annalise Paik, founder of the Fairfield Green Food Guide. Good morning, Annalise. Good morning. Welcome back. Good to Thank see you. Thank you. All right, so uh, what do we have this morning? Well, strawberries are at their peak. Uh -huh. Rhubarb is loving the rain. Okay. And now, now what, what is a rhubarb? Well, it's Educate a vegetable. Me. It's a vegetable. Uh -huh. And the tops are always chopped off because they're actually toxic. The leaves are toxic. Okay. And yes, you know, it's tough and astringent. It looks a little scary. Mm. But what I like to do is pair it with strawberries and make a compote. This, when you cook this mm. with a sugar and water solution, it's called a simple syrup, mm. with a little flavor. I put a little vanilla bean in it, and you add the strawberries. In about 10 minutes, you have that delicious dish. Oh, so this is more, it's like a spread. Well, you can use this for so many different things. You can, would you like a taste? Uh -huh. You can put this in your yogurt on top of ice cream, on mm. pancakes and waffles. That is very good. Anyway, it's Strawberry really and rhubarb. Yeah, so don't be afraid of the rhubarb. It cooks up beautifully with the strawberries. Very nice, nicely done. And then this is a little more sophisticated for an adult audience. Uh -huh. This is the Millick's Farm Strawberry Compote that Emily Brooks uh, wrote uh, the recipe for in Connecticut Farm and Feast, which we are holding a Facebook promotion to give away, by oh, the way. Oh, awesome. So join us on the Fairfield Green Food Guide Facebook page to win a chance to... Uh, and now we'll try this one. Look at you, you feed me. Now, this, is this has triple sec and an orange mm. reduction. In it. Now you could see that you can with taste that shortcake, right? Yeah. Wouldn't that be wonderful? That's and that cooks up really quickly. You can really taste the triple sec. You can. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got orange rind in it as well. Okay. Now this is the really interesting one. Yes, that this people, is. I don't know what that look. What now, that is. People walk away from this at farmers markets, and it's a mistake. This is how oh. I got mine from Sport Hill Farm in Easton, which is my CSA farm. So, so, so what is this? These scapes are all bundled up nicely by the farmer. You see how curly they are. Uh -huh. This is how they grow. This is from my garden. This is garlic. So this part is below ground. Uh -huh. This is the stalk. And this part here is the scape. See how it grows out of the top? And it's, it's a still garlic. curly. This is a garlic scape. Okay. So and now they, where would one use a garlic scape as opposed to just plain old garlic? In anything. Okay. You can eat it raw in a salad. Uh -huh. You can uh, put it in a stir fry or a soup. But what I really love to do with it is make pesto. Oh, look at that. And you just whirl it up in the food processor with uh, the same ingredients you would use in a traditional uh, pesto genovese. Okay. And I love putting it on really excellent artisan bread. Mm. This is the number one artisan bread in Connecticut. It won the Connecticut Specialty Food Awards competition. It's the flax set from Fairfield Bread Company. That's very good. What do you think? You, I think you are an excellent cook. Everything. <laughs> Everything I had this morning was absolutely fantastic. And all of these are in the cookbook? This one is in the cookbook, and the other ones are on my website, fairfieldgreenfoodguide.com. All right, so tell us about the cookbook. Oh, this is wonderful. Emily Brooks wrote this book after visiting almost 50 farms in the state of Connecticut, uh -huh. and she's profiled multi-generational farms to new farmers, like uh -huh. my farmer's a new farmer. And in it, she's also included about 85 recipes that go along with Can all the foods that they produce over four seasons. Unbelievable. Annalise, you're the best. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you for coming in. And thank you for feeding me, because uh, everything <laughs> you brought was absolutely delicious. We'll feed everyone. All right, everyone. Uh, please head on over to uh, WTNH.com. From there, you go to the weekend section, and that will lead you to Annalise's. What's your website? Fairfield Green Food Guide. Com. FairfieldGreenFoodGuide.com. Check it out, everyone. Please stay with us. We're going to have more news and weather coming up.